what can be a better way to start this very new journey of our very new amateurs? Very true, Gauri. Filled with such immense knowledge, enthusiasm and talents, we are honored to have such an amazing audience with us. With this, I, Gauri Bahendi, along with my co-anchor, Lokendra Singh Yura, feel privileged to welcome you all on behalf of the complete family of Amity University Rajasthan to the inauguration ceremony of Orientation 2022. Good morning everyone. Good morning. And with the blessings of uh, Honorable President Sir, Honorable Chancellor Sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, uh, Pro Vice Chancellor Sir, Asairi Sir, uh, Provost Registrar Sir, all my seniors here and all the industry luminaries, I take this privilege to welcome you all uh, first year students to the beautiful MD University Chaipur Rajasthan campus. It's an amazing moment. I can't even tell you the, the way my heartbeat is pumping right now. It's a huge excitement to, to be seeing you all around here in this campus because two years of COVID atmosphere, um, you know, the, the live presence of uh, students in the auditorium the orientation session happening after two years. It's, it's a great feeling. It's an historical day post-COVID. So we welcome you all. I take this opportunity to uh, welcome you all on behalf of the entire AUR fraternity. And um, I hope all your uh, dreams come true once you pass out from this beautiful MD University Rajasthan. MD University Rajasthan Jaipur is just not a university. It's a family. Amity University Rajasthan Jaipur is responsible to provide a lot of culture, a lot of uh, focus, a lot of objectives, a lot of goals to its students, to the passers, to the, to the ones who are studying right now. And it gives you a sense of pride, a sense of feeling, wherein you can actually go out as a fully transformed individual in the industrial setup and perform and create uh, create achievements and historical advancements in your respective fields. We at Amity University Rajasthan Jaipur have got uh, uh, students coming in from almost 28 states this year, which is a huge number, 28 states. Uh, there is a representation from uh, Andaman Nicobar, Kerala, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, of course, um, Punjab, Jammu and Kashmir, you name the state and we have a student here. So this cultural diversity which we've been able to create, I think this is the only campus across Rajasthan which gives the opportunity to student to have this cross-cultural learning atmosphere. On behalf of Honorable Founder President Dr. Ashok K. Chauhan and our Chancellor Dr. Asim Chauhan and all the colleagues present here, I take this opportunity to welcome all the esteemed guests of this inaugural session of Orientation 2022. We have very eminent personalities today, like Dr. Raj Kut. We are honored with your presence, sir. You are a role model for every corporate professional in the country, as you have shown your eminence in all the domains, be it management, training, education, literature, marketing and sales. When I was uh, going through your profile, I was simply amazed to look the diversity and the versatility. It is heartening to see your love and passion for mentoring young talents, sir. And your guidance and direction will certainly help to transform the education and entrepreneurial ecosystem of the country. A very warm welcome to you. Can we have a round of applause for Mr. <laughs> Mr. Thakur, you are a great leader and your expertise in human capital management is highly valued across industries. As a vice president with one of the topmost consulting firm of the world, you are helping businesses to strengthen their IT infrastructure, their processes, and achieving their strategic goals. I express my gratitude for your presence and contribution to the corporate world. A round of applause, please. Mr. <laughs> Kumar, a great friend, leader, administrator, people manager, and an accomplished writer with several publications and a journal to his credit. 
I'm simply amazed to see again your versatility. Very rarely we find people from industry indulging in writing articles and editing a journal. But sir, you are doing that. And Mr. Kumar has not only accomplished great success in his professional career, but is also contributing to the field of training and development fraternity by leading a very prominent chapter of a professional association called Indian Society for Training and Development uh, at Dehradun. Sir, your passion for learning and development helped us to connect and we are very grateful for your presence. Thank you so much, sir. Coming to my dear students, I am very glad to welcome each one of you who is going to be part of this quality driven student focused institutions. In fact, today you embark on a new journey. A journey that will help you to climb the ladder of success in personal as well as professional life. You have been in shelter of your parents, but you must now face the competitive world. At Amity University, we endeavor to equip you with required skills and abilities that will not only help you to sail through, but also to lead with confidence. I urge you to be inquisitive, experiment and explore. Because this phase of life allows you to learn and improve, unlike the corporate world where you have to only perform. There is no scope for failures. There are no retests, right? There are no midterm exams. You have to directly perform when you move to the corporate world. And that is what the difference is. I congratulate you and all your parents for making a right choice and selecting a leading global university. And I wish a great success for all your future endeavors. God bless you. Thank you so much. My dear students, I know you have come to Amity because you have a dream. And let me tell you, we all are here to realize your dreams. I am sure that until now, either you were in a college or you were in a school, and you were quite sheltered by your uh, teachers, by your parents, and you never had an independent opportunity to grow on your own. Therefore, you are here in Amity with wonderful hands of uh, our very reputed faculty members who have exposure of industry, exposure of higher academic institutions in India and abroad. And I'm sure their friendly attitude to learn the things will make you a better human being. Let me share with you that uh, our campus is beautiful, our campus is eco-friendly and we have a lot of sports facilities, military training and we emphasize a lot on soft skills including foreign languages. I have seen on Amity campus when students come from, I am very glad to see the statistics that we have received the students from 28 states of India. We always say before that a very old saying in our Indian mythology for our Gurus because the first respect is for the Gurus. Guru Govind do khare taake lago paaye balihari guru aapne govind guru dikhaaye. So on the behalf of all the students, I respect to all the Gurus who are sitting here which I can see them virtually because without you, we, will, we, we are not able to reach where it is required. Even I give this entire things to my gurus who have taught me and who keeps on teaching me because learning is a journey till the breath is, the learning keeps on wanting. With this, thank you so much Mr. Tejwani sir for inviting me on such a beautiful occasion of the orientation program of Amity University. So this is the way, let me tell you about the orientation program. I was so happy when he was talking about it. I like to add something more on that with the due permission of Amit Jain sir. Right, because as a professional, right, why we see what other things are there. Of course, O stand for the opportunity. But here I like to have a small change in the R part also, add, not change. R is a respect for all. Because 
This is the right time to get that important thing. We always say the attitude of the gratitude. Start respecting yourself, start respecting your colleagues. Because tomorrow, when you are going to enter in the professional world, right, you have to have that thing because respect always adds value. Today, you have joined this wonderful MIT University. You are going to drive it, not only for you, not only for your family, not only for the MIT, but you are going to drive in the entire world. We are the people when we say that, yes, this guy, this girl who has come from MIT, she is our, he is a shining star in the entire global market, which is very important. And what a pride which you will receive it. I think the salutations will be there everywhere and the pride of your professors will be there that yes, this is the way the MIT student, MITians are going. And believe you me, it is there. And it is there in the entire world. When we have met with the alumni of the MIT group, right, we can find they are shining like a glittering star in the entire different part of the world. So these are the things are there which I like to inform you and I like to request you. Please increase the ability of thinking, positive thinking. Please also increase that what more excess information you are able to have this thing. Talk to your friend circle, right? That what is new which you have learned. Please be, don't be shy of learning because the more you learn, the better knowledge is going to come to you and the knowledge gives you the strength. The strength gives you a better earning, better reputation, better attitude and better things are there. Last but not the least, I like to have that the blended learning and cross-cultural learning is very important because you are on the diversified segment, right? Somebody will be having a strength on A segment, somebody will be having the strength on the B segment. Don't ever feel shy about it because if you ask, you will get the things, right? It is very, very clear. If you are hungry, we go to our home and we talk to our mother that, yes, I am hungry, I want food. Right? Immediately the mother gives the food or somebody gives the food about it. So be, be interested, we keep on asking about it. The more you will ask, the more you will be able to make the things happen. Last but not the least, I like to add, ki, we will say that, apni kamiyo ko kabiliyat mein badlo. Apni kamiyo ko kabiliyat mein badlo aur ausas se asadharan bano. And it always depends upon us. We all have the weakness. Nobody is 100% right, right? You accept the God. So, we can change our weakness to our strength, which is very important. We all are average. I am an average guy. I always say, and I am a shameless learner. I always say in front of anybody and everywhere, right? Because that is going to give me a lot of strength. So, and it is all in our hand. With this, thank you very much for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to all the respected professors, all the respected seniors, all the chancellors, both pro chancellor and page money sir for inviting me. Thank you sir. So thank you so much. So after listening to Dr. Rajput Ji, uh, there is nothing for me left to speak anything extra because you know, whatever notes, whatever thought that I had to say, you know, he has already talked into and probably I am so sorry Anup Ji, if I step up and you know, still steal some of your words, uh, probably you don't do that. So pardon me for that, right? Because because Rajput ji has given a wonderful example to all of you guys, and which I am going to stress upon few of important things, right? Which is going to help each one of you. So you all are the future of our nation, right? And you are our future. So we look up when we look at you, we look we look at you at endless possibilities. Right? We don't look at you as you are like MBA in finance or MBA in job. We look at a guy coming with a lot of energy lot of enthusiasm and, and acquiring the wisdom that you got from all the information on the social media right? and providing the zeal to do the rest. So, so please pat your back uh, at any industry, be it Rajput Ji or Anup Ji, they see endless possibility in you. Now you need to how you are fine tuning yourself, polishing yourself, which I'll also go and give you some of the ideas which already spoken about of Rajput itself. Uh, again, thank you Dr. Rakesh Bhatnagar sir, I have, have high regards for you. An entire team of MIT who has invited me there, right? So, yeah. So, so one thing which is very important, which uh, Dr. Dashpur has said to you guys, one was integrity. Okay. So, I just give you an example. One professor, you know, an alumni of Harvard Business School, every year he used to go to, you know, um, the alumni meeting of Harvard, right? And then, let's say the first year he found out that there were 60 students coming for the meeting. 60 alumni used to come for the meeting. And then, year there were 50, then decline, then 20, you know. Then, he, out of curiosity, he said that I am the constant 
I keep coming for every year alumni meeting, but why the students is going down? Why the alumni students are coming down? Right? They are not increasing, right? they are coming down. So you know what was the answer which was given by some of them? That most of these alumni are in jail. Including the Japanese and the stuff. Right? So look, look at this one. So that's why what I'm going to say that integrity is extremely important for you to have. Right? You may succeed today, but in longer run, you may never know. Because in era, in era of in, you know, artificial intelligence, you know, and all those tech enabled stuff, the only thing remaining is your virtue, culture, and your integrity, right? which will not very, very likely last me, so I say. If you read the story of any uh, of the Star Wars, be it sportsmen, be it anybody, be it any CEOs, you know what they say? Any idea how much CEO reads in a week or in a month, in a year, how many books a CEO reads? Any, any idea? From the market, from the uh, you know, audience? You will surprise to know, say that one week, one, one book, one week, and that's an average. Bill Gates says that I will be one week or so. So you need to look at that, read that, understand what is happening, and then don't constrain yourself that you have got these many jobs coming in, these students coming in. This is all nothing going to polish you to make more finer human being who can survive any stress. You can work on on the you no know, process. You can work on also on within the uh, targeted timelines because. <clears throat> When I go to the you know, thing, when I go to talk to my customers, there is a new technology coming, right? In, let's say in HCM technology, new technology has come, or new process or new new process has come. If I don't have knack to read and comprehend quickly, I will not make a difference to my customer. Otherwise, Anup sir will not even let me know to meet him if I am going to consult him because I need to know, be more aware than his understanding of the product or process. Right? I need to be working faster on that. So make sure that for these two years. Please continue to invest in your learning. Try to see if you can, you know, minimize your time on your social media. Then we will do things for less. Uh, reason behind because if you work, if, if you if you hear about Sainal Nehwal's story, they said that for two years he was not given the mobile phone. Her teacher, PP Pola Gopichand, has not given her the mobile phone. Right? So, so they are completely out, out from this game. Because see, these two trainings, your parents have invested, some of you might have invested in your learning. Please make sure that you do justice to it. There might may be frustrating moments, we all went through, but make sure that you guys give the best to it. Right? So this is my initial thoughts and probably you know, understanding that how you guys do that. I am extremely positive about your future. Each one of you have amazing uh, you know, uh, capability you have to. Just be, you know, invest more in yourself. Don't get concerned that you have got every week tutorial or surprise test or multiple credits you need to follow. Try to see if you can bring most relevant and conceptual learning for you. Because this two years, will define the entire world. If you do not materialize these two months and probably, you know, Dr. Rajput Ji and Anup sir knows that if you struggle today, tomorrow even if you get placed, but after two, three months or two, three, four years, you will have the same struggle, right? So that's why I'm saying that. Make your own brand, which will help you, how you make a brand with your own capability, competency, and how you increase your competency by your hard work. There is no substitute to that, which your you know, previous professors have done that. So I see endless possibility in you. Again, Tarkish Bani Ji, Dr. Rakesh, extremely you know, uh, thankful to all of you to allow me to speak to the kids today and uh, this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it is an honor and privilege to speak today on the orientation program of Committee University in Jaipur. Uh, I pay my regards to the Director, Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor also, and uh, many thanks to Dr. B. Jen, Dr. Bekoni sir, to invite me today. So, orientation program today is still very fantastic going on. What I would like to say to the students because I have been informed that uh, the students are the sum of engineering, management, law, and many other things. Head and the mass com, I think so. So, it is very important to all of the students to focus on their ambition or the goal. Moving ahead, I would like to say that every student has a dream as well as every parent has a dream, your parents and you yourself have chosen a very good platform, uh, have taken admission in the Amity University at Jaipur campus and it is a fantastic opportunity for all of you. This orientation is certainly going to be a very 
big boom in your career because what I believe that from here you are on the runway. Your plain career, I am quoting it, your slide is a career. If you run well, you can take off well. If you run in a different way, you cannot take. And take off is concerned to your career. So whatever career you are thinking, whatever career you are not chosen up, uh, you have to think about it. And where is the matter of uh, orientation, what my uh, senior colleagues, Dr. Rajkis and Dr. Thakur has already told you that opportunity starts with the orientation form. I am not going to uh, say much because already it has been a big for the channel. So uh, the thing is that uh, the goals, the orientation program, the uh, coming days, classroom program, you have to work on your uh, goal, you have to spend some what uh, Thakur was saying, that you have to learn the book, different kind of book of management or engineering or law, whatever. So, so that you can uh, remember it in your career life. Because that book always helps you, helps you to move ahead. So it is the time to spend much in your library. Amiti University has been told that it is a very good library over there. Lots of books, e-books. Everything is available. So you can enjoy reading over there. You can unlearn everything from there. So this is what I can quote today. And uh, other topics have been already covered. So uh, and thank you for thank, thank you to the university and the uh, people behind it, uh, chancellor, vice chancellor, co vice chancellor, everybody. Thank you very much. And wishing the students all the very best in their in their career, in their career as well. Thank you very much. Orientation program is a, I think, uh, first window of the university where we are interacting and discussing lot many things, how university functions and what type of expectations we have from student side and what you need to do for a successful progression. Definitely, university is having best-in-class facility, but you also need to put your full for the successful life. A big thanks to our <coughs> Akshay Jain. He has given the importance of diversity, what we have in the university, in UG programs, PG, and in PhD also, we have 550 PhD scholars. So we have a great diversity. Uh, from Anantnag to Kansargod and Tripura to Jaisalmer, we have big diversity in all programs as well as in the research side. Definitely in this orientation program, we all will come, like I myself will come after lunch and we will discuss about the teaching, learning and evaluation as I am heading the academics and uh, monitoring the quality delivery in the university, whether it is in academics or in your support services. So our uh, internal things is to present our best and ignite the mind on very first day and what we are doing exactly the same. Now it is a day start. So after lunch we will meet one by one about the hostel, about the examination, about the choice based credit system and all type of the what facility we have we will explain. And dear students it is very very important you finish your lunch come on the right time and note down all the things because we know students are coming after week, fortnight or month what about the credits, distribution, overall earnings and overall examination system and what type of the continuous evaluation you have in the department we will explain. So well again thank you very much to DSW for uh, uh, creating this uh, wonderful platform and to your full team so that uh, we will uh, discuss, interact each and every important point. Best wishes to all the students and uh, congratulations for this wonderful uh, event and uh, wonderful uh, session. Thanks to all of uh, industrial guests as well as our all HOIs. The day will continue after lunch. Thank you very much.